uh, Seashore deals with transparency and images. It's a simplification, but essentially every pixel in the image is made up of four values, a red, a green, a blue, and an alpha. And you can see those in the point information on the left. If a pixel has an alpha 255, it's completely solid, and an alpha zero, it's completely transparent. So let's go grab the eraser and try to erase part of the image. Hmm. Well, we got red. Why did that happen? It used the background color up here. But the reason that is is because if we look at our layer, there's no alpha channel enabled. So all of the alpha is forced to be uh, fully opaque. So it's just going to fill it with the background color. So let's erase this. And let's come back here. And let's turn on the alpha channel. And now erase. And now we see that we've erased some of the pixels and the underlying checkerboard pattern shows through. But have we actually erased these? If we come down here and we say edit the primary channel only, which is the color channels, you'll see the whole image is there. Similarly, if I say just edit the alpha channel, I see the circle that I drew. And right now I can grab the brush and let's draw a triangle. And now we go back and say edit all channels and we've actually erased part of that. So you can edit the color channels independently of the alpha channel. Similarly, if we go to the primary channel, let's make a color here and let's draw on the image. And now we say edit all channels. You can see that the transparent areas are still transparent. Now similarly, I can say edit alpha channel only, but then I can use the eyeball here to say, but I want to view all the channels, but only edit the alpha channel. So now if we draw, you'll notice I'm actually erasing. If I make this transparent, let's go a little bit more there, you can see. And now we turn that off, we have some gray in there because we didn't go fully transparent, we only made it partially transparent. So you'll notice the alpha channel is always shades of gray. It'll go from white to black, no color because it represents the 0 to 255 values as a, a shade of white to black. There we go. Let's erase all of this. Similarly, you have another layer of, of transparency. Let's, let's add a layer and let's selection and let's fill this in. Okay. Now, we're going to turn off the selection. All right. Now, here you'll notice I can come up and I can change the opacity of the layer. Now, the values, if you notice, let's change this here, the picker, to say just the layer I'm on. You'll notice that all the values still show as 255 because the layer opacity is independent of the pixel values. Similarly, I'm on this layer, I can change when I'm drawing. Let's make this fully opaque and we can draw. Oh, sorry, that's hard to see because I have the layer opacity, okay. But then we can also draw adjusting the opacity. And you notice that there we'll get a less than 255 pixel value. Up here, it's 254, the alpha, uh, usually due to a little bit of rounding errors there. Okay. Thank you for supporting Seashore. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them and look forward to my future videos.